Hello YouTube, just continuing on my little series of pole shift videos and this is not necessarily NASA hiding magnetic field information but just um, just information about the weakening magnetic field itself but if you go to wiki and you look up Aurora you know, it gives you a lot of information and it gives you a lot of nice little pictures but if you go all the way down it gives you a little map which you can click on and um, it gives you the latitudes of how far a geomagnetic storm should produce auroras for a given strength of KP3579 and um, on spaceweather.com it's got something similar here but I like the one in wiki because you can see the actual states here so you see this red line of KP9 but what you'll notice is that our most recent space weather um, just yesterday we got hit with a KP6 storm. So here you go, KP6 on 11 14 of 2012. And on spaceweather.com, it's showing that there were auroras as low as Colorado and Kansas. And if you go to Google Maps, I mean, I wasn't, I can't recall right off the top of my head where um, Colorado and Kansas is so Colorado and Kansas is right here this is like right in the middle of the US so if you go back to the map Colorado and Kansas is right here so this is this is where a KP9 storm should be but it was only a KP6 which should be around here. So this is another evidence of a weakening magnetic field. And so the question is so was this just a one time event? But here's another article on the examiner about solar eruptions bringing aurora displays to the United States and this is on October the 8th and there were auroras being sighted as far south of, as Kansas again Utah Colorado on October the 8th at a KP6 geomagnetic storm and on Iswa con confirmed that it's a KP6 storm down here and so again it happened at the same places the lower latitudes for KP6 storm and then last year there were auroras over Alabama Texas way on the south side and you know some people are saying maybe this was a once in a lifetime event and um, for that day we actually got hit the KP7 storm so if you go back to the KP map KP7 is over here but it was hap it was coming down all the way over here so these are three separate incidences and there are probably more of where aurora borealis are coming down lower and lower um, which is a sign of this is a definite sign of a weakening magnetic field and I would like to say that there is a definite correlation with the weakening magnetic field um, rising global temperatures extreme weather mass animal die-offs and a lot of the other evidence that I've given to you on this channel and um, which goes against a lot of what NASA has been telling us, especially that 
one video that the pole shift if it does happen it takes thousands of years there's nothing to worry about so I just wanted to share that with you thanks for watching and God bless